Hey guys, Jared back again. So you went out, you got yourself your Galaxy Note 2 from either AT&T, Rogers, TELUS, or Bell, and it's time to root it. All right, so you obviously want the easiest method out there possible. Now, I'm sure there's other methods available. However, for me, this is probably the easiest method out there. It should only take you 30 seconds as described on this particular thread. So I'll be posting a link in the description below to this particular thread. This thread in particular is um, from Chainfire. Chainfire is a very, very well-known developer who's popular for his super easy routing methods. Uh, now, there's di um, directions on his thread on how to do all of this. Uh, however, I find a lot of people do prefer sort of a visual aid, uh, so that this, that's uh, kind of the point of this video. So what you're gonna do once you click on the link is you're gonna go to um, the second post here, which is this one right here, and you're gonna download this file, odin3 version 1.85, okay? So you're gonna download that and save it to somewhere safe. Uh, I actually made a folder called Galaxy Note 2 CF Auto Root, uh, just to make things easier for myself. Then you're going to go to the third post here, and you're going to download the respective, um, or the particular uh, uh, CF Auto Root file uh, for your particular device. So um, in order to find out which particular model you have, because it is important that you don't flash the wrong one to the wrong device, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your device settings, scroll on down to About Phone, and in about phone, you'll see the model number. So if you have an AT&T Galaxy Note 2, you'll have the SGH uh, I317. And if you have something from Canada, that being TELUS, Bell, Rogers, SaskTel, and so on, you have the SGH I317M. All right, so now I'm on Bell and I have the Galaxy Note 2 from Bell. So I've went ahead and downloaded the i317M CF Auto root file, all right? So you're gonna download that and save it, you know, preferably to the same folder. Um, now, once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. And um, I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit better for you guys here. So first things first, you're gonna want to uh, locate that Odin 3 uh, version 1.85. You're going to go ahead and extract that file and you'll see here that two files pop up. This is the one we're going to be using, okay? Now, after we've done that, the second thing you're going to want to do is extract the CF auto root file and you're only going to want to extract it once so that we get this one um, tar.md5 file, okay? Now, once that's finished, we're going to go ahead and open up Odin. All right, and let me just bring it in the screen here for you guys so you can see what it's gonna look like. So this is what it's gonna look like, okay? Um, by the way, you're gonna want to make sure that your uh, Note 2 is powered off, okay? That's very important in this. All right, so now what you wanna do is put your phone into download mode. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to, oh, you're gonna have to excuse me. Let me zoom out a little bit for you guys here. All right, let's get this easier. So what you're gonna do is volume down, the power, uh, power button and the home button all at the same time here, all right? And you'll see what happens. We get this little screen here with this little exclamation mark, all right? What you're gonna do is go ahead and just hit volume up to continue, and we are now in download mode. It says downloading, but it's not actually downloading thing, uh, well, yet. So this is when you would plug in your uh, USB. So we'll go ahead and toss that in there, just like so. Uh, give your computer a few moments to recognize the device and do whatever it needs to do. Um, now that we've got that done, we're going to go ahead and select PDA, and I'll zoom back in here so you can see what's going on. All right, that's pretty good there. Um, so yes, you're going to select PDA, all right, and what's going to come up is this, or at least it should. If this doesn't come up, then just go ahead and locate where this, where the uh, CF auto root file that you've downloaded for your device is, all right? Just select it, highlight it, and click open and that'll load it into the PDA um, sort of section there, all right? And all you gotta do after this point is just simply select Start. What this is gonna do is flash a specific recovery in order to um, root your device. It's also going to be adding the Super SU application, which is what um, you know allows your uh, root applications to have root access and so on. Uh, while it's doing its thing, you'll actually notice that the screen will flash some different funky stuff. Um, you'll notice that there'll be like a red Android in the background. That means it's doing its thing. Just go ahead and let it um, do its thing and wait for it to reboot by itself. Uh, once it's rebooted, um, you'll probably notice that um, we'll be rooted, but we'll show you, we'll prove that it's rooted um, by downloading a root checker uh, application. 
All right, so you'll notice while your device is still plugged in that it's, you know, your computer's probably made a couple of noises by now, and um, the uh, um, Odin uh, program here has, you've seen that it's gone removed, added, removed, added. Um, just give it a couple of moments for the things to stop to stop doing. It's, you know, flashing and all that stuff, and your computer stopped making noises, but now um, it's safe to actually pull it out of uh, the USB from your computer. So um, now let's go ahead and download the uh, root checker application. Go ahead and zoom out here and try and refocus. All right, so go ahead and unlock it. We'll go in here and we'll look for that uh, Super SU application, which is right there. As you can see, there's Super SU. But just to double check that we are in fact rooted, we're gonna go to the Play Store. We're gonna go up to the search. I'm gonna type in root checker okay you'll notice that things are starting to pop up there we're going to go ahead and install this is from joey crim this is my favorite root checker application i recommend it if you know if you're interested there are other ones out there and we'll wait for that to download and once it's available to open okay google play is acting strange so we'll go ahead and select that open it up we agree and okay and we're going to go ahead and click verify root access. It's doing its thing. We're going to grant root access. And as you can see, congratulations, the device has root access. And that's it, folks. Um, you're rooted. That was really, really quick and painless. You shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. Um, just keep in mind, though, that uh, this particular method does add to the binary count, which basically means if you do decide to bring your device back to um, the service center or wherever you bought it from for warranty purposes, um, they will be able to tell that your device has been rooted, in which case your warranty will be void. However, if you download the Triangle Away application from Chainfire, uh, you'll actually be able to remove that binary count, is what it's called actually, and you can put it back to uh, the stock uh, firmware and there will be no sign that it was ever rooted in which case you can bring it back for your warranty repairs without having to worry about any issues anyways guys that's it hopefully this was helpful to you this is probably the easiest method or most likely the easiest method to root your Samsung Galaxy Note 2 i317 or i317m that being the AT&T Galaxy Note 2 or the Galaxy Note 2 from Bell Rogers and TELUS Thanks again for watching, guys. If you like this video, hopefully you did. Uh, shoot me some love by hitting that likes button down below. It definitely, definitely shows me that uh, you do appreciate these types of videos. And if you haven't already, you may want to consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.